Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWint. Today we're unboxing the Lenovo ThinkPad P1. So if you're unfamiliar with this product, it's something that's a little new from Lenovo. There's never been anything called a P1 before, although we will see them in future years. The P series is their workstation uh, series of PCs. So we have the P72. That's a that's a huge workhorse beast of a machine. And what this is, is it's sort of the X1, um, but for workstations. So... We have, you know, if you follow my reviews, I don't know if you do, uh, there's the X1 Carbon, the X1 Yoga, the X1 Tablet, and these are all, well, they're all regular U-series processors, integrated graphics and such, and um, this is trying to fit that that premium X1 style of device into a, a workstation. So they also announced a few weeks later the X1 Extreme, and these are very similar devices, but... This is the workstation version. So, so this one goes up to Xeon processors and Quadro graphics, whereas the X1 Extreme has up to a Core i9 with GTX graphics. And it's also, so you can, you can consider this as an X1 device. And I love that they call it the P1 because, uh, that kind of implies that maybe we'll see like a P1 Yoga one of these days, a P1 tablet. Who knows? We're not there yet. And, uh, obviously Lenovo has never confirmed any of this. So that's just speculation. So let's get this open because the specs on this thing are awesome. And considering that what, what it's meant to be is a really thin and light workstation type of machine. It has a four gigabyte GPU. All right, let's just get this open. And here we have it in some padding there. It's going to have a 135 watt uh, power supply. So it is powerful. It, this one has the, the Xeon graphics, although you should be able to get it with, with a, uh, the, um, H series, um, core processors, not, not a core i9. All right. So here it is. So we can see it, it does not have that X1 branding and they didn't make a, uh, a P1 logo for it. Uh, the X1s have that X1 logo right over here. It does, however, have the new ThinkPad branding. So this is more of kind of a, a glossy black, chromish color, whereas previously it was that gray, silver type of ThinkPad. And all of this year's ThinkPads have that old logo, except for the new X1s and now the P1. Here's our 135 watt power supply, and there's the the power cord there. So. It does charge with Lenovo's proprietary adapter, which is kind of in the shape of a USB type A uh, cable, which is the one thing that I really don't like about it, other than the fact that it's not a standard charger. But I really, I don't like it because um, I'll often try to plug this into a USB port or I'll try to plug USB cables into the power port. You see, it does have two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which probably do support charging, although I'm sure it's much slower than it is with the official 135 watt power adapter. Here's the, the power port right over here. Again, looks like a USB port Two Thunderbolt three. Uh, we've got HDMI right there. And then we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack over here. Over here, we, we also have two USB type A ports, which you can barely see. This thing's so big, it's actually kind of hard to record. And then of course, an SD card slot. And so we're going to get this open. The specs of this machine are, it has a 8th gen Intel Xeon E uh, 2176M 2.7 gigahertz, NVIDIA Quadro P2000 4 gigahertz, uh, 4 gigabytes with max Q, 32 gigabytes DDR4 2400 megahertz RAM, uh, 2840 by 2160 display, that's UHD with Dolby Vision, 2 terabyte NVMe SSD. So this thing is really nice. <laughs> And it's um, it's one of those things that you're not going to mind carrying around. That you can see on the screen that it's just, uh, it's beautiful. And yeah, so again, ports two Thunderbolt three, two USB three point Type A. One of them always on. And um, there's no Ethernet. However, it does come with a little dongle here, which we can see. And that's a going to be a USB Type A to a uh, USB Type C to to Ethernet dongle. Yeah, it has a little cover. Nice. I like the red, the red color there. Anyway, yeah. So, oh no, this is. Oh, this is. Sorry, this is a. This is an adapter for this port that we had over here, and that just plugs in there. So this is like a mini, mini RJ45 uh, port. So, 
Yeah. So that's kind of disappointing. I'd actually rather have seen, you know, maybe a third USB Type-C port or something like that and see a Type-C adapter. But yeah, so that's what's there. And uh, this has an IR camera for Windows Hello. That's nice. Uh, one thing that I don't like is that, that um, earlier ThinkPads this year, they have a, a privacy guard. And that's just a flip across the top and that blocks your camera so you don't have to use tape or anything like that. And the problem with that is that Lenovo is finally going with uh, IR cameras for Windows Hello, but you have the choice between the two. You can't have that Think Shutter and the IR camera, which is kind of disappointing because they are really great features. So yeah, this is going to be super powerful. The the Xeon E processor is something that Intel just announced a few months ago, and that's made for entry level workstations. And I wouldn't, I mean. You know, the term entry level gets thrown around and no one no one wants to, to hear that because it sounds so low end, but this is not, obviously. This is this is a huge um, this is a huge machine with a lot of power behind it. And is this touch? This is touch. Okay, so there's a non-touch model that comes in at 3.76 pounds. Uh, the touch model comes in at 4.06 pounds. So it's not a super light machine, okay? Although, I mean, it feels light enough. I don't think you're going to mind carrying this around, especially if you're like a normal person, which is not me, and you carry around only one laptop at a time. The non-touch model is 18.4 millimeters thick. The touch model is 18.7 millimeters thick. So this is still pretty much considered an Ultrabook by most standards. Uh, I believe uh, the definition of Ultrabook is still under 22 millimeters, so that might have changed at some point. And um, so, yeah, this is a super... Um, it's a super light because it's considered a workstation. It is considered to be um, very light for, for the power that it provides. And another thing that's new, um, I, I say new because the whole thing is new, really. There's never been a P1 before. Uh, but another, but considering it to be an X1, one thing that's new is that it has a 15.6 inch display. All of the X1 devices that, that exist, um, the carbon and the yoga are both 14 inches. The um, the tablet is now 13 inches, and uh, which is a little bit bigger than last year's tablet. So this is the first one from that X1 lineup, because this really is an X1 uh, that has a 15 inch display. So 4K, uh, Dolby Vision. You can see the display looks stunning. The keyboard is really nice. It has that ThinkPad keyboard, which um, you know you could you could think of that as a sort of Cadillac of keyboards. This is that you know it's. I, I, it's kind of well known that, that ThinkPad keyboards are some of the best ones around. Uh, one thing that you might not like is that these function and control keys are, are reversed. And that does get in the way. You can go into the Lenovo Vantage application and you can, you can swap these. So the function key acts as a control key and the control key um, acts as a function key. That's what I do uh, on these review units. I don't know why they, they keep it this way. See that as far as software goes, this is a signature PC. There's there's no um, additional bloatware that goes on here, um, other than the stuff that Microsoft puts on there. Because uh, I'm going to do a factory reset and sign them with my own account, and I'm sure Candy Crush Saga will show up over here and all of that stuff. We can go into settings and we can take a look at the hardware because it should come with Windows 10 Pro as well. But um, yeah. Xeon 2.7 gigahertz, um, 32 gigs RAM, and uh, yeah, that's. I mean, the whole thing is beastly. Two two terabyte SSD. You can't uh, can't argue with that. <laughs> you know, this this thing ships with 1.81 terabytes free. Um, I I um, you know, you're gonna have a hard time filling that up. But this is a workstation PC, so you might be using it for video editing. You might you might have. You might have the content to fill that up. And um, you could use this to play games as well, although Quadro is designed for workstation tests. And if you if you're if you want it for primarily gaming, you want a GTX, uh, you want a GTX GPU or I should say GeForce because the newest ones are RTX now. I gotta I gotta get used to not saying GTX anymore. So that's about it. Other than that, it's a ThinkPad, right? We have a we have our fingerprint reader over here, as in all laptop laptop tie laptop style ThinkPads. The power button is right over here. 
We have a 180 degree hinge, so it can go completely flat. It doesn't go back any further than that. Uh, the black is blacker than black, is what I like to call it. Compared to last year's X1s, they actually made the, the shade of black a little darker than last year. So that's why I say it's blacker than black. And if you talk to the Lenovo guys about this, they are super proud of this. Because there's such minor design changes over last year. The new ThinkPad logo, it's a little different. Uh, the new X1 logo that's on the X1s. And I, I, I would expect a P1 logo coming maybe next year. But anyway. Uh, but yeah, they are. And, and it looks great. The the shade of black looks great. Uh, it feels somewhat soft because this is made of a carbon fiber graphite hybrid. So you can feel it. It feels, it feels a little soft. feels smooth. Uh, it's, it's a comfortable PC to use. And that's another thing that I do love about uh, ThinkPad keyboards is that they're just very comfortable PCs to use. I've never used a ThinkPad that I didn't like. Some I like better than others. I do love the X1s, and I, and I fully expect to, to love the P1. We have our track point here, which moves the mouse around, and that takes a little getting used to. If you're used to it, you're going to love it. If you don't, if you're not used to it, you're probably not going to take the time to get used to it. Um, these three buttons here are what you would use with that because the trackpad is clickable, and you'd probably use that on its own. Uh, this is for scrolling, so you can just kind of hit this and use the, the track point to scroll up and down, and uh, I, I find that to be useful. But, yeah, that's all we got for now. It's um, This is a super powerful ThinkPad workstation PC. Again, if you're not into workstation, you'll want the X1 Extreme because they are pretty much the same PC with a similar chassis, but the, the Extreme has up to a Core i9 instead of Xeon, uh, GeForce GTX graphics instead of Quadro graphics. And yeah, so this is a standard laptop form factor. You could think of it as a carbon that's not so light. Carbon is known for being super light clamshell laptop. And for what it is though, because the carbon has the, the 8th gen U-series processor, 15 watt processor and integrated graphics. This has dedicated graphics and has a Xeon processor. The TDP on this chip is 45 watts, similar to the H-series processors that Intel has out in the core series. It has six cores. It's hyper-threaded, so it has six cores and 12 threads. And again, that's similar to the, um, the H-series i7 or the i9. Both of those are six cores, 12 threads, 45 watts. And again, 8-series, because remember, 8-series is, is for high-powered machines. You find those in workstation uh, laptops. You find those in gaming laptops. Um, one desktop, the Surface Studio, <laughs> but um, the U series is what you find in Ultra Books. Um, some tablets, some uh, s um, pretty much all convertibles, and that's a 15 watt processor. It's pretty standard uh, when you're not doing super powerful tasks like gaming or video editing and stuff like that. So Xeon is the um, the workstation slash server type of processor, and. That's it. That's all I got for now. So I'm going to have a review for this in a few weeks, and I'm super excited to dive into this. I'm also going to have the X1 Extreme in a few days. Lenovo is sending me one of those in, as well. So I'm going to be able to put these things side by side, and I'll be able to take a better look at what each one is better at. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.